Okay, so self-deification, here we go. Self-deification is the process of making a god out of yourself. Um, the Bible's word for this is blasphemy, and Jesus says that blasphemy is a sin that needs to be forgiven. Now, what is the standard of morality for the Christian? Uh, 2 Timothy 3.16 says, All scripture is given by inspiration of God and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, and for instruction in righteousness. So, the standard of morality for the Christian is the word of God. Um, however, you'll notice that a lot of Christians, what they'll do is they'll take the Bible, they'll interpret texts of scripture, and then they will act like if you do not accept their interpretation of scripture, that you are rejecting the scripture itself. Even though you are actually accepting the scripture, you're just rejecting their interpretation. So what is this individual doing? What they're doing is they're taking the scripture, they're interpreting it, and if you do not accept their interpretation, they act like you have rejected the word of God. So their interpretation, they put on an equality with the word of God itself. You can't do this. This is blasphemy. God's word alone is the standard, not my idea and interpretation of it or your idea and interpretation of it. We have to remember that the word of God alone is the standard, not how we understand it. Now, obviously, we have to have an understanding of it, but the point is, is we have to remember that our human understanding of the scriptures is not the moral code for the Christian. The moral code for the Christian is the word of God itself. And each of us, as individuals, is accountable to God for our own understanding of the scriptures and our own conscience and so forth. Um, a lot of Christians also will do the same thing with their feelings. They won't necessarily have a text of scripture on something, but they'll feel a certain way about something, and because they feel this way, it's obviously bad, you know, because they just think that it's wrong because they feel this way, and they will exalt their feelings um, to an equality with the Word of God, and they'll make that the moral code for themselves and everybody else. And you can't do this. The moral code is the Word of God. Um, and when we exalt our understandings and our feelings to an equality with the Word of God, that is blasphemy. God's, it's God's prerogative alone to, you know, to define morality. It's not, we can't do that. That's not our place. God's law is the standard, not us and our ideas and our feelings and our opinions. Um, so the reason that this is important is because as we're going through this presentation series, um, you may find that uh, different individuals in your past or preachers or whatnot, they have, they've told you things and they've given you these ideas regarding scripture and you feel like these, these interpretations are the standard, but they're actually not. The word of God is the standard. And you can hold to your understanding of the scriptures or you could change it and that's fine. Just remember that the standard is not other people's ideas or interpretations of the scripture or even yours. The standard is God's word. Um, and we don't want to be guilty of making a god out of ourselves. We don't want to be guilty of blasphemy. This is extremely dangerous. Um, so yeah, so as we're going through this presentation series, just remember to keep in mind that we are human. God's word is the standard. We're going to do our best to understand it, but we don't want to exalt our feelings that, that rise up in us when we're covering topics and our ideas and understandings to interfere um, you know, with, with, with our understanding of what's right. Let's just leave the Word of God as the standard and, and just take a, a humble view of ourselves and our ideas and not think of ourselves and our ideas like, that, like they're godlike, like they're a standard, because they're not. Um, so that's the danger, but thank you. Uh, we'll see you again in the next presentation.